Addressing a panel discussion at the University of the West Indies on Thursday on the state of Caribbean economies, President of the Caribbean Development Bank, Professor Compton Bond, says regional financial institutions remain exposed to financial risks, which resulted from the adverse effects of the global financial crisis. He is now urging governments across the region to strengthen their regulatory laws. It is recognized that the stability of the financial system is essential for sustainable economic growth. In my view, the first call on public policy in this crisis period must be to shore up those institutions whose capital position has been adversely affected by the economic recession and to put in place improved regulations and surveillance systems for more effective control and management of solvency risk. Professor Bourne said Caribbean economies have a history of slow to moderate growth and the period of the 90s have been one of a downward trend. Recent recessions in the region have been deep, protracted and painful. Volatility has also been the consequence of natural hazard events, notably hurricanes and less intense wind storms, but also earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, all of which in small islands tend to be nationwide in their impact. The CDB president said Caribbean integration remains an important aspect for the region's survival. For small countries, regional economic integration is a critical component of a successful strategy for trade competitiveness because it provides a basis for more efficient resource use and for economies of scale and scope in production, organization and distribution. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sukram.